Welcome to Dave Take Finance. In today's video, we would be learning about money market, the functions, features, and money market instruments. So let's start with introduction to money market. Money market is component of financial system where money or its equivalent assets can be traded. Money here represents liquidity. Now see, financial system comprises of financial market. and money market is a part of financial market we see there is capital market and then there is money market so money market is generally known for trading in short term instruments these short term instruments are for less than one year and thus they are uh, thus they are uh, holding a lot of liquidity it means they are cash or cash related instruments or we can say money or money equivalent assets which means they are readily convertible into cash they are because they are having short term maturity it is placed where public large corporates and government manage their short term cash needs so as i already told short term cash needs requirement is managed in the money market so there is trading in these short term short term assets short term financial assets which are having maturity of less than 1 year Short term borrowing and lending is done by financial institutions and dealers with liquid instruments having short term maturities fortnight to one year. Thus money market is a market where short term obligations such as treasury bills commercial papers and banker acceptances are bought and sold. So these all are the names of money market instruments or we can say money market financial asset where investment can be made where trading can be made. Let's see functions of money market. So it provides an efficient market of short term borrowing and lending to meet urgent requirements. We already understand that money market is representing the short term financial asset market. So there can be borrowing, there can be lending, there can be investment to meet urgent requirements. It brings liquidity in the financial system. Obviously, we are trading in the Uh, money and money related assets so it is bringing a kind of liquidity in the financial systems to meet the uh, to meet the nearest demand in the nearest time it enables development of trade and industry because it boosts the trading activities a lot it is short term market and thus it uh, develops the trade and industry and the economy it helps in efficient functioning of commercial banks and then it facilitates formulation of suitable monetary policy so money market also helps in formulation of suitable monetary policy which is taken by rbi to control the money supply in the economy so money market facilitates that and it also helps in efficient functioning of commercial banks because many times commercial banks themselves are in need of cash in need of in need of funds they face shortage of funds so in nearest time they want to have funds to be provided to the public as uh, loans and in that case they are also participant in money market to borrow the funds to, and uh, to provide to the borrowers let's see the features of money market it is a market purely for short term funds having a maturity period less than 1 year only so we discussed that it is a market for short term funds which are having a maturity period of less than 1 year it means if you are investing in money market instruments uh, they are short term and your investment will mature within 1 year so you can uh, you can withdraw your money just in that time before 1 year only transactions have to be conducted without the help of bro brokers as in capital market a lot many brokers are involved here in money market transactions are not conducted with the help of brokers they are conducted uh, through various uh, oral or written communication form it comprises of several sub market like call money market acceptance bill market treasury bill market so the different money market instrument which we discussed uh, which will we will discuss are comprising several sub market sets so where the call money is traded that that is called call money market where treasury bill is traded that is called treasury bill market and then where acceptance bill is traded that is called acceptance bill market the players in the money market include commercial banks government corporates and nbfcs so all banks the businesses 
are involved there in money market because they are generally in the need of short term funds to meet various day to day operational activities transactions take place through phone oral communication relevant documents and written communication can be exchanged subsequently there is no formal place like stock exchange as in case of capital market so there is nothing like stock exchange where the trading is being done it takes place with the documents in written form or oral form now let's learn about money market instruments so the first is treasury bill treasury bills one of the safest money market instrument a short term borrowing instrument of the central government of country issued through central bank that is rbi in india so treasury bills provide you a very low rate of return but these are the most safest and most secured money market instrument these are issued by central government with help of rbi so these are issued by rbi and governed by central government of the country now these are zero risk instruments since these are facilitated by government these are having no risk and thus they are a very safer avenue of investment and hence provide low return so as you know if the risk involved is less the returns will or will be the returns provided will also be less thus treasury bills in the money market provide very low return they are issued with 3 month 6 month and 1 year maturity period so as per your requirement you can either purchase for 3 months for 6 months or 1 year maturity period t bill t bills are issued at a price less than their face value which is called par value so all these treasury bills are having certain par value which is their face value or what we say their price now these are issued to the investors with a promise to pay them full value full face value to hold or to hold her on maturity so if the investors or the holders are having this t bills they are provided with the full face value after maturity and when they purchase these t bills it is provided at a price less than face value so it is provided at a discounted price second is commercial papers it is a short term unsecured promissory note issued by corporate and financial institutions at a discounted value on face value so as we see in treasury bills it was issued at discounted value to the face value or par value similarly the commercial papers are also issued in the same manner the difference is that commercial papers are a little riskier as compared to treasury bills because treasury bills were provided by Uh, RBI whereas commercial banks are provided by the corporates and the financial institutions of the country so these are a little unsecured kind of promissory note they are usually issued with fixed maturity between 1 to 270 days so again this is less than 1 year from 1 to 270 days you can have the maturity period and you can buy this commercial papers now generally people buy these for financing of account receivables inventories and meeting short term liabilities returns are higher as compared to t bills since risk is also higher so commercial papers generally because it is providing it is holding higher risk as compared to t bills it also provides higher returns to their investors to their uh, uh, holders Next is certificate of deposit it is a short term borrowing more like a bank term deposit account it is a promissory note issued by a bank in form of a certificate entitling the bearer to receive interest the certificate bears the maturity date the fixed rate of interest and the value so this is generally a paper which is like a certificate provided to the bearer to holder or you can say the investor who who is purchasing the certificate of deposit now this is like a promissory note which is issued by bank saying that uh, the holder will be provided this much of fixed rate of interest on maturity of this paper and this value so its term generally ranges from 3 months to 5 years if you are ready for 3 months to 5 years you can invest for certificate of deposit uh, i already mentioned that money market instruments are generally for one year only but the certificate of deposit is provided for 5 years as well the returns on certificate of deposits are higher than t bills because it assumes higher level of risk since the time involved in certificate of deposit the maturity time is uh, the range is very high it is from 3 months to 5 years 
which means that there is higher level of risk because of higher time period and thus the return which is provided is again higher as compared to the t bills which is considered the safest instrument then there is call money it is a market where overnight loans can be availed by banks to meet liquidity so many a times bank are an urgent requirement of fund in that condition bank can uh, approach this call market where uh, where the as borrower and one who have excess fund participate as lenders so banks can approach this call market as borrower or as lender if they are if they if they are in the need of fund they can uh, just go there and buy this call money and they will be provided with the fund and uh, if they are having excess fund they can even park their money in call market as lenders so banks can avail call money to meet their reserve requirement or any shortfall in cash loan provided for 2 to 14 days is called notice money so call money we call it because it is for overnight fund it, the fund is provided for overnight whereas when this loan fund ranges between 2 to 14 days we call it as notice money now then there is bankers acceptance it is simply a bill of exchange drawn by a person and accepted by a bank so uh, two parties are involved for say buyer and seller when buyer promise seller to pay certain amount it goes to bank and ask for bankers acceptance which is a, which is a guarantee provided by bank to the seller that the buyer will be paying this much of money now bank bank will be providing this guarantee in terms after having something as collateral so this is how bankers acceptance one you know, work let's see it is a buyer's promise to pay to the seller a certain specified amount at a certain date the same is guaranteed by the banker of the buyer in exchange for a claim on the goods as collateral so the goods which buyer has purchased is kept as collateral or what we say security to the bank and in return the bank provide this banker's acceptance as a guarantee to the seller that the buyer will make the payment at the of specified amount at certain date the banker's acceptance is very safe security and it is used as money market instrument the most common term for these instruments is again 90 days however these can vary from 30 days to 180 days then there are these repurchase agreements repurchase transactions are also called repo or reverse repo transactions or we can say short term loans in which two parties agree to sell and repurchase the same security so they sell the security which is held by them and uh, ask for the fund and they promise to repurchase the same security so this is how repurchase agreements work they are usually used for overnight borrowing repo and reverse repo transactions can be done only between the parties approved by rbi and in rbi approved securities so we know that repo and reverse repo rates are in control of rbi so these repurchase agreements are generally held with rbi approved securities and parties approved by rbi only thank you for watching do like and share my video subscribe to my channel devtech finance thank you all